Hey everybody, this is gonna be my uh, first YouTube video and we're going, today I'm going to be doing a review slash overview of um, some fishing lures I got off of AliExpress. And um, yeah, let's get into it. The first one we're going to be looking at is from, let's see if I can get this in frame. I'll, I hope you can see that, it's FLW Pro from CCL, I don't know, on the back, made of, made of durable ABS plastic, laser image vivid colors, fantastic shape design, swimming action, yada, yada, yada. Um, CC Lures, Lures Fishing Tackle, was founded by experienced fishermen, not explaining who, probably not true, but <laughs> uh, each of our lures was designed by domestic and formed professional anglers, angle, anglers for, out, yeah, focus on excellent quality fishing lures at prices everybody can afford. Happy fishing, happy life, start with CLC. Oh, look at that, that's kind of cool, I didn't even notice that yet. Respect and follow, catch and release. That's kind of cool. But this, <clears throat> what I got from these is, uh, that company, well, on AliExpress was, uh, this, it's like a swim bait, it's a wake bait. Thought it was gonna be a swim bait, but no, it's a wake bait. It's pretty cool. It's relatively thick, but for a bluegill lure, a lot of the time is they're just too tall. And this is pretty nice and slender, so fish should be eat it should be able to eat it pretty well. It's like a carbon fiber lip on it, which is interesting. Um, the tail is like this fiber stuff, and when I got it, actually, if you look, it's not big enough to fit in the package quite enough so these are all bent out of whack and all i did was boil some water take it in it and just swished around a couple times and they straightened out and i just let them sit and yeah they're pretty sure there's a slight little curve to them because of how they were drying out but i got on a fix it got fixed them pretty well now on the water i'm gonna see i might just trim them but I'm gonna do it on the water so I don't ruin them. It's probably not gonna do too much though. But I got two. Got like this red ear sunfish and like a bluegill. Hopefully you can see those. It's a bit of a funky angle for the light and for the camera. But I got a bluegill and a red ear. They have a whole bunch of different other colors. This is um oops, sorry. Uh these were about eight, nine dollars, I believe. And that's, that's a pretty good price for a swim bait slash wake bait. That's definitely on the cheaper side. Um, continue using this. The hooks are, uh, they almost remind me of a owner e, EWG, uh, if you can see that. EWG treble hook. And they are pretty sticky sharp too. I At some point I might change them out, but for now... Um, if you just throw this out right now, it will catch fish and it will hold them on pretty well. The barbs are yeah, kind of hard to see them. Barbs are kind of small on that, which is interesting. Split rings feel decent. The paint feels good. Um, for rattles. Got some large one knockers and some smaller BBs in there. So it's got some real good sound to it now these hooks are pretty sharp um there's a slight little difference in the tails much how, how they were placed in there but yeah, it's not bad yeah two of these for eight bucks that's actually probably the most expensive thing i got was well for one lure eight bucks eight nine bucks um yeah I, these are pretty good <clears throat> i'm next up going to do the rat lures I bought, I'm selling like that wake bait type of uh, thing. So this is from uh, Hunt House. Uh, you know, it's pretty good packaging. This is actually like a package you might find in um, a shop. Well, same thing with this, but there's one that looks really, really good. I'll uh, get to that in a second. It's done by the, by the world-renowned anglers and was ultimately completed after repeating testing and modifying the action is as vivid as live fish. It's not a fish, it's a rat. Making an attractive, yeah. 
uh, made with a superior eco-friendly material. The manufacturing process and environmentally sustainable. That's kind of cool. But it's uh, 85 millimeters and 17 grams. And that's what I got here. It's a little rat wake bait. Out. Uh, it's pretty cool. I got two of these. I got one in a black as well. And what comes in the package is actually, you know, get that out of the way, a tail. And it comes with a spare too. So that's pretty cool. Not too many would do that. But the bill's pretty good. Uh, the hooks, I don't know. The hooks are a little bit duller than the last ones, but still pretty shoot pretty sharp yeah they're really really sharp uh the paint is pretty good but when i bought them i had a slight problem of i don't know if you can quite see it on camera but on that arm was like a little bit of foil and i peeled it and it peeled off a little bit of the paint so that was kind of not too good but this paint scheme is like a shad bluegill type of thing uh and the tail has some great motion to it. Uh, mold feels pretty good, and then you see that joint there. Should have some good action like that. And I'm not sure if this one's a rat. This one doesn't rattle. I did get a second brand of rats for some reason because I don't know prices and all that. But in the way that the tail's held on, like a little toothpick there. Maybe you can see that, which it's mm, not the best, but it's you can change them out, so that's good. And I would assume that as that gets wet, it would expand and actually hold it in pretty well. Those first few casts might be a little iffy. This bait is it's pretty good. Pretty good little bait, this one. Oh, I'm not sure on the price. I'm just going to could be pull up AliExpress. Come on. Oh, come on. Completed. So the Hunt House were uh, $4.69. I'm not sure on shipping. Shipping is uh, free shipping. Not sure. The, the, the wake baits, yeah, the wake baits were $8.49. And. With free shipping as well so that's a pretty good bait and especially for a rat wake bait it tend to be a little more expensive uh, and then the next lure now the rat pretty much is the same exact mold well same exact blank same exact everything apart from the bill being this is the one i'm showing next this one i already showed you uh you know it's opaque sort of well it's got more opaqueness to it Hooks are a little bit less sharp. This one's a little cheaper. Uh, I think this one has slightly, yeah, this one has slightly bigger hooks, the Hunt House. Uh, oh, and also, I just realized that, that the joint, the joint on this one is a lot more extreme than this one. Don't know if that's poor quality control or a slightly different modification to it and for the tail it's not there isn't quite as much movement there was a lot of uh, flashing for the plastic so I had to actually twist it and break it all and it's just I mean not the best and the package it came in is one of these clear plastic bags that tends to happen with a lot of well with some actually I've Surprise of how many came in actual packages for AliExpress. I was expecting a lot of them to come in that plastic, but pretty much only one other one came in a plastic bag and it still got some detail on it. Uh, this one's a little bit, that was a bit of a matte finish to it. Um, and one more thing, when I bought this, I was planning on this being like a shad type color, but the way it was like angled and all that looked, looked like a shad, but I guess not. You know, it'll still work. And then for a rattle, Got a little, got a little rattle in there. Um, it's not bad. This one was, come on, 
Oh, and the, yeah, that, so the wake baits, uh, panfish wake baits were from CC Lures store. These ones were from AD Yud store. A dash D Yud Y U D store. And these were $3.95. Oh, I did weigh all of these because I was writing some reviews for them. They're all good reviews. Um, all these baits waver by like one or two grams, some a little bit more than others. But they're always around spot on for their for them for their weight. And yeah. So the next lure is gonna be this guy here. This one also came in one of these plastic bags, but I shredded the bag trying to get it out. This one, a lot of, sorry, a lot of stuff in AliExpress is like a knockoff of certain things. This isn't a knockoff of a, um, well, it's not really a knockoff. It's pretty much, so this from Mega Bass, it's a knockoff of a Mega Bass swim bait, but the all, all these different brands are well, some of them don't go through China, but the brands that go through China, the uh, the producers of the bait in China can take the mold and change one or two things with it, well, the blank, I keep on saying mold, the blank, and sell it at a different price, and it's it's impossible to copyright lures and all that because you just gotta change one thing, it's completely different, but it's the exact same as a, like a $40 Mega Bass swim bait. It's probably a little bit more high quality in certain things, but it's the same exact mold, well, blank, sorry. Um, it has a bit of like a bluegill type color to it. And as you can probably see already that the hooks aren't dangling like that. Because it's a super, super powerful magnet. Like this back one is because the hooks are so big on it. I'm gonna get to the hooks in a second, but there's a magnet in it. Which is really, really cool. And this is like a oh, chuck of the price on it. This is a two dollar and sixty cent lure from the Ming Yang store. Yeah, two dollar lure or three dollar lure. Oh, and then shipping. Pretty sure it was free shipping. Oh, just one second. Oh no, shipping was a dollar fifty-eight. But they have maybe if you can kind of see that. Those are all the different colors. Yeah, you probably can't see into it, but there's a whole bunch of different colors. And if you just search up swim bait, you'll find like a dozen or two dozen of these things out there. All different colors and all that from different stores, different prices. Uh the tail on it is like a super, super stretchy type of material. Uh I think the Mega Bass one may have been hard plastic. I'm not sure I don't have it because not big enough $44 swim baits. I'm not big enough glide baits either. It's my like second glide bait and I haven't used my first one. But I'm trying to get into that. So it looks pretty good. The hooks, well, the paint feels good. There's like a glitter on it, which adds some texture to it. But apart from that, uh, it feels pretty good. There's like a little hot spot on it. And then the hooks are like these almost like a saltwater type looking one of these big beefy hooks. That's, man, I swear they gotta switch hands. There we are. These big beefy saltwater looking hooks that are surprisingly sharp if you can probably see it stuck in my shirt. But these are sharp. Those are, they're, if I were, I, if I were to keep these hooks, I'd downsize this back one because it's just not lining up. It's just too big for that back hook. Might go down two sizes. Uh, yeah, the mold feels good. And then um, for rattle, like a little, little something in the head, but it's not meant to really be a rattle. It's definitely meant to just be a side to side. You know, I don't, I'm not doing it too good, but it's a pretty good little lure there. I, I'm doing it. I already have a, another AliExpress order coming. In that's like twice. The, this is all. I think like around a hundred dollars, I think. Was it a hundred or was it like 40? Oh, I think, will AliExpress tell me how much? Back, back, uh, no, it doesn't tell me. But I think it was, 
maybe around forty dollars i think it's either around forty or sixty between forty or not oh boy probably my dad the snowblower outside if you heard that sound like something falling um it was there's i'm not sure how much all this was but it was really really cheap and uh what was i getting at before i got distracted uh shoot uh, all right i'm doing another order that's already coming out it's like 300 dollars. getting a handful of uh, getting like two or three bfs reels i think not like one or two bfs reels one possibly regular bass reel i'm not sure and then a spinning reel and then a whole bunch of lures and um that's already on its way some of the stuff's already arriving and i got a handful more of these really excited for that order to come in then i have a shopping cart that's just not shopping cart but a wish list and shopping cart that's just all full of stuff and then next up we're going to do this little guy here so this is look at the package first this is from oh, where is it you can kind of see this from bear king Ooh, bear king this is a package i really like because which is all full of details designed in japan because it's a knockoff of the Vitalian from mega bass a lot of mega bass stuff is knocked off there on aliexpress they think the I think there's a, another type of Italian that the um, that Mega Bass sells that has a lip on it. Because a regular v v Italian is like a lipless and a out lipless and a swim bait mixed, but it's more of a crankbait and swim bait with that more crankbait type look to it. Well, no, a more swim bait look to it. Back to the package though. Uh, it says, man, I wish I could get that light just a little closer. The camera a little closer. Oh, I can get the camera a little closer. Maybe you can see that. The Italian Bear King AO2. Not sure what that means. 2.8 inches, 0.37 ounces, uh, 1.7 centimeters, 10 grams, slow sinking. I think that one was around that 14 gram mark. Might be a little over because of the um, tackle and all that. Your expert in fishing tackle. The bottom has VMC, so they might use VMC hooks. Not sure. On the back, I'm not going to try to read that. I don't speak. Uh, maybe Korean? That looks somewhat Korean. I'm not sure. I'm not about even. Yeah. Uh, it says, let's fish. That side's clear. Well, on the inside, it says Lure Max, Bear King. A lot of flashy stuff on it. A lot of flashy stuff. It's pretty cool. In the bait, the little micro guy I was expecting it to be like like a bigger swim bait out and not this little guy but it's a surprise to be sure but welcome one <laughs> uh this should be great in ponds really really great in ponds and well because when i first got this stuff i was, wasn't really looking at the um size or anything i was just mo mostly looking at price and colors and if i like the bait or not that i got um duped on the price for on a well, not price size on another bait probably the last one i'm going to show but it's pretty cool it's a more of like a clear color you can see the my fingers in the back out a little bluegill type color it actually says vitalian i don't know if you can see that on the top no no not vitalian vibration x eh. out and these hooks are sharp are they are they definitely look like vmc hooks Ooh. Come on, yeah, I guess if you can see that little, got a needle on them, really, real gnarly. Hooks are pretty, pretty decently sized, it might be a tad bit too big. Uh, the paint job feels good, the mold feels good, everything feels nice and solid. Uh, the joints look good on it. Split rings feel good, and then rattle. Got a little something in there, but it's probably just that ball bearing and that ball bang bearing there just moving around a little bit probably not meant to have a rattle you could put a small few things in here but eh, fine but it's a pretty good little bit here i'm gonna find the price price is 
This, yes, yeah, from Bear King. This was four dollars and eighty-seven cents, and it was free shipping. And if you look at this, look at all those colors there. A few of these have like a just a few color options, but there's a few out there that just have an absolute um just huge amount of colors. But uh, not a huge amount, but a decent amount of colors. I am getting some bigger versions of these in that order. But this little guy is pretty cool. I'm definitely very excited to throw this in some um, ponds. And yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm going to switch to BFS for a second. Go back here. Let's see real quick. There we are. So that's the package there. That's the other plus bags. Got some flash to it though. Oop. Um, I'm not even sure what that is on the back. And it's these little itty bitty poppers. Like, look at that. It's microscopic. Just this tiny, tiny little thing. This is, this one's from. Don't go back. This one is from Outkit Viking Fishing Store. These were $1.37 a piece with. Uh, shipping fee of one dollar and eighty four cents. One thing I was trying to get, I don't even quite see that, but like that golden clear with like a golden olive back. This is what I got. Uh, it's like a bronze copper back with like a red. There is some gold to it, but it's like a big red dot right there. Not what I ordered. Will work, but. They also got this white one, which is pretty cool. But yeah, the paint feels pretty nice and good. Mold feels out. Blank feels pretty solid. Hooks are sticky sharp. Look, 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 look at that little thing. Hmm. Look at that little. I hope it's focusing. So much stuff in the background. My GoPro doesn't have the best quality for me looking at it. But yeah, it's got a sticky, sticky hook. Ow. There's a little guy, a little BFS. Very excited to throw that. Now, what else am I missing? Oh, a rattle. There's no rattle. Well, there's like a little, little something, but it's not meant to be a rattle. Just the weight in it. Uh, yeah. Well, that's a pretty cool little thing there. Ow. Got two of those. And sticking with that BFS. Actually, I'm gonna hold off on these for just one second. So, in the background, these are not from AliExpress. So I was watching a. Oop. One second. Oh, all right. I was watching a Bass Fishing HQ video, video, and he did a. It was, a, it was an older video. Well, not older, but like, I think a year ago, maybe two years ago. Is on this the riser from Jackal, the riser 007, and I wanted to get some. Went on to Tackle Warehouse. They're out of stock. They're going to be in stock like a couple weeks from then, and I'm waiting, waiting the day finally arrives for them to restock. And I'm not sure if it's Tackle Warehouse, the their headquarters in Virginia, is it if it's their 12 o'clock or my 12 o'clock, which is kind of Kind of dumb because it's definitely, it's obviously they're going to be there 12 o'clock. That's going to be restocked. So around 8 o'clock, I checked in or a little bit after 8 o'clock, checked in completely out of stock. Already out of stock. I was 15 minutes late, I think. All out of stock. I spent the next few days just scouring the internet. Finally found this, well, first found a super sketchy website and I was just trying to get a bluegill color of these. And at the end for payment, it was either a bank transfer only in Malaysia. Uh, what what else was it? Uh, PayPal, which sketched me out a little bit because I know about PayPal. So yeah, I'm not sure. And then uh, there's, there's another other random payment method. Yeah, I, I noped out of that. I did not get it. But I found this other site and they didn't have Bluegill, but they had... A bone, this kind of clear minnow color, and then that one, and then this one here. 
And I got it. These things are like 20 bucks a piece, I think. Pretty stinking expensive. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a really cool top water. You, it's a spinning reel. It's not a spinning reel. It's a spinning rod top water. You can slowly reel, then it'll have this little shimmy across the surface. But what its main purpose is, is you twist the rod, twist the rod as you reel in, and it skips across the surface like a fleeing bait fish. And like it goes across like that and just skips and runs and it's really, really cool action. At fish have definitely not seen it. And it's funny, there's like one video on it that's like a video on it and the rest are just people fishing with it. And they're out of stock everywhere. Like I found like a couple dozen stores, they were all out of stock. It's crazy. But so these guys, it's there's no rattle in it. You can see the weights in the butt belly. These actually sink. They're uh, two eight point two grams, seventy millimeters, and sinking. That's a top water. It's got this little bell on it. Looks like a chatterbait or crankbait. But instead of being tied up here, well, it would dive. It's tied at the very tip of it, which is weird. And this is a metal bill. And it's just a really funky looking bait. And when I was on AliExpress, I was like, oh, I wonder if they have it. They have them. I'm gonna keep this guy here. This is the um, actual Jackal one. I'm gonna keep this over here for reference. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the BFS ones I was gonna show you. So this is from Lithug, Lithug, I believe. Uh, not sure what that is, not sure what that is. Hard Bluer series, and that's it. It's, you know, some flashy packaging to it. Always like that. And look at that. I believe this is 40 millimeters. Just a little teeny tiny right. So this is a bluegill color. Also got this clear with a chartreuse head. Oh, I got the hiccups. Clear head on it. And look, oh, I'm getting this. Get that on the light. That is just... Hope that carries over. That is a, just a such a good looking blue color. It has that semi transparentness with like a purple sheen to it, purple hue. It says mini something 4S. So probably 40 millimeters. So it has that metal built, like a slight little dip to it for some reason. This uh, the actual jackal doesn't have that. If you can see that maybe. Um doesn't have the same type of face, which if you take a the the brand name one and a knockoff one and place it next side to side, it may look the exact same, but you can really tell by the um, gill plate and all that. And a lot of the time it's like one thing different, or, or a lot of the time it's the same exact gill plate, which means the same exact mold. But those are very different. And um, yeah. It's just a, such a good looking little guy. And Jackal actually does sell these in 70 millimeter, 90 millimeter, and 40 millimeter. The 90 and 40 are only available in um, like um, JDM tackle stores and Japanese tackle stores, online, all that. And I yeah, finally, oh, bump the camera, find these little guys on AliExpress. And these guys are, come on, Dang it. Back, 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 go, no. go. These are three dollars and forty cents a piece, with free shipping. And they have a surprising amount of colors. Look at that. I haven't shown colors too much, but I think it comes. Not only in 40 millimeter. They got all sorts of good colors. And yeah, it's, there's obviously no rattle to it. Hooks are these little tiny guys, and they are razor sharp. Razor, razor sharp. Everything these are these feel really high quality for AliExpress. These all feel really high quality. I think the Yeah. Oh, oh, pretty good quality. And that'll be it for the BFS stuff so far. Well, for this order. And now, I'm going to move on out to these. Oh, not that package. So this, look at the package. 
is from Arise Lures, I believe. Excellent reaction, highest quality, Q3, uh, Japan design. This is a hammerhead right there. Clear, Arise, excellent quality, highest, all that stuff. Arise Lures are developed by Hammerhead, the main target for freshwater fish. There's a period there, so it's the main target for freshwater fish. Okay. The well balanced shape, excellent the well balanced shape, excellent reaction, and brilliant colors of the lure have def have def what? Lures have definitely the word highest quality. Oh, definitely the word highest quality. I see. Definitely confused, definitely confused me. Uh, 70 millimeters, 8.2 grams, size 8 hook, sinking. And it says that that's the lure action. Like a walking bait, side to side to side. No. Uh, we asked the package. It's pretty good. I guess like samurai looking guy here. But then here's that bait there. It's a. Uh, it's almost. It's actually the same exact color scheme as that rat lure. It's got these little blue hints here, and it's got that shine to it. It's like a bronzy back, which actually almost looks transparent next to the light. I can see you can't just can't kind of sucks has that same metal lip so this one is the aliexpress and this one oop, got itch and this one is the jackal and if you look at that gill plate it actually is different that has more of a no, like you definitely can't see it but it's got some differences in the gill plate but that's it that is it. it's all the same exact I think this one, the jackal has some smaller hooks on it actually. You can maybe see that. And the knockoff has some slightly larger hooks. Still pretty stinking sharp. Uh, paint feels good, no no rattle on it. And yeah, it's, these it feel the exact same. This one feels slightly heavier because of that rubber band and the larger hook. But apart from that, I think I did um, weigh them and it was around that eight gram mark now these jack has some super sharp hooks and then oh i just realized this is a completely different package bisto extra strong extra sharp high high quality abs premium series oh there's some stuff on the back actually hold on once i want to see what that is so for this color i was hoping on it being not matte it's actually first time taking out the package a little weird scratch in the paint there. Not a scratch in the paint, but like a scratch on the mat. But I wasn't planning on it, uh, planning on it being matte. Got a weird little thing on the bill there. Yeah. But premium series, we are serious about fishing. We believe getting into the head of a fish to really understand. You know, it's really hard to see. Bisto lures are developed by Tornado, the main the main target for freshwater fish. That doesn't sound familiar like this. It's precisely based off of years of research, experienced staff, the well balanced shape, bright colors, jugglers, and looks quality. Bisto lures are made of high quality. Yeah, that is pretty much word for word like this with some extra stuff, so it's not word for word. 70 millimeter, 15. 15 grams, hold on, what? Mm, this feels a little heavier. Is that? Uh, I'm not sure if it's heavier. That's weird. But I could have swore you yeah, the, the, still the exact same. It's the same exact hooks. This is weirding me out. Back, back. Uh, these are both from the Traveling Fishing Store. Uh, Bass King, that's the same, the same store. That is, that's weird. Um, but yeah, it's for having two different packages. They're still, they're pretty good. Well, they're really good. And the last and final lure is this from Le Fishing. Um, I'm, I'm, 
I'm not gonna try to read that. I'm starting to run out of some time, but maybe if you can kind of see, you can try to read it, but not the flashiest packaging, but it's good. Got information on it. That's why I still am taking out the package. That's what I got. A really good looking, really good looking walking bait. And I was, this is the one I was, I was playing on these being like the size of those poppers and being micro, but I, I bought some micro ones finally. But once again, a surprise to be sure, but I will definitely put these to use. And they're not like a massive, like a true walking bait size. These are 90 millimeter and these would be perfect for ponds and small, smaller mouth fish, like small mouths. Um, let's Ow. Right, uh, well, looks like the hooks want to be reviewed first. Ow. The hooks are yeah, saltwater looking type. Real sharp with a really odd bend to them. Well, it looks like a not quite the wide gap from oh wide gap from owner. Definitely weird. Oh, good. They are sharp. Ow. Oh, that one's in there. Oh, there you are. For rattles, you can actually see them in this. You have like a one knocker in the back and the front you have like these three little metal BBs and oh, all right. Let's even try to see them. These little glass ones in the top. So we have three different types. Let's see, let's hear, let's hear it. Yeah, that has a depth of noise. That has all sorts of, all sorts of stuff going on. It's a, it's a pretty good looking bait. Good paint. Has a little bit of holographic on this one. Good color. This is just, that's a good bait. These ones were... Oh, right. For the knockoff risers, they were uh, $4.15. These ones are 90 millimeters, 15.5 grams. And they're four dollars and ten cents. I'm not gonna check on the ship or anything like that. But yeah, but uh, yeah, I kind of left these off for last. Uh, there's that white and chartreuse color should be amazing for smallmouth. The shad one there. But that's everything that I ordered. You can see it right there. Got a little surprise that came. So sometimes when you order for certain stores, they give you like gifts for whatever reason, whether it be stickers, usually. I didn't get stickers because brands didn't give stickers. Sometimes they give lures. Sometimes it's like really, really bad lures, like nobody's buying them and want to get rid of them. They usually wouldn't give out a like a good walking bait. I checked the price on this as like a, I think it was around that four and a half, five dollar range from Left Fishing, of course, same store. Got that same exact color as this guy. But only difference is it's got like a one knocker there, but it's got a few out, few different um uh, weights in there. And it's that weird like saltwater walking bait. That's like a true walking bait size. Usually, oh, you might get a third hook up there, but guess not with this. That means it. Probably based off of a saltwater walking bait, but I will try it out for freshwater, you know, bass and all that. And what the rattle sounds like. Same great paint job. Hooks feel a little bit different. And I might actually leave those hooks on because I might chuck this around the saltwater. Maybe, I'm not sure. I I try to fish saltwater. I have yet to catch anything. Uh, but I, I got friends who can help me. But... And something else I noticed, a few of these, if I can juggle all of them, they all have the same looking down eye, which is, a lot of the brands do that, and it's, I think this one does too, yeah, but it's more of like a half cut eye. I have a weird thing with those looking down eyes, I'm not sure why, but that was definitely a shock when I got that. It was, yeah, <laughs> but... All these feel, all these lures, they all feel great. And I'm, I'm obviously, I, 
already done another order. I have a whole bunch of stuff in them. Shopping cart, wish list. I will be buying a lot of AliExpress stuff in the future. My wallet definitely is not happy, but um, <laughs> but overall, um, these baits do feel pretty good. And I think one of the main problems I did have on the store was there weren't any like sides that they were all in, like perched on stuff and like nobody was holding them. So I didn't really know the size and all that, but you know, you just look at the size and then if you're like an American like me and don't understand Imperial, metric not Imperial, then you just got a calculator and do it. But yeah, um, AliExpress, the one, the one thing with AliExpress is, is that everything may be cheap, but it, they come in like a month, usually a month, month and a half. So it does because you're buying it direct from China. And I mean, shipping, it's not that expensive. Like the shipping is just for the stores and all that. You don't have to do any other shipping, I don't think. And yeah, it just takes a while for them to get there, get here, but they're cool. They're good. Uh, so there's all sorts of stuff on AliExpress. It's, it is a rabbit hole and a half to go down. But yeah, that is my uh, probably first ever video. And um, thanks for watching.